Hi. Hi. Welcome to Veggie Trends, where we make eating your vegetables a whole lot more fun. My name is Mackenzie, and today I'm bringing you this week's tip of the week. I'm in the kitchen making spaghetti squash primavera, and so I thought I would share with you some spaghetti alternatives. Because I think if you're trying to get away from processed foods or refined grains, a great way to do that is to exchange your pasta for a different option. So I hope you'll stay tuned and see what the options are. Pasta alternatives. This guy here is a spaghetti squash. If you've never had one, uh, you can pick them up in your local grocery store. They have a very thick yellow rind and when cooked, the meat of it comes out looking like spaghetti. So I'm about to throw them in the oven. When I pull it out, I'll uh, bring it over and, and show you what it looks like all cooked. Uh, it's a great mild winter squash. You can use it in a variety of dishes. It won't over uh, power any of the other flavors in your dish, which is what I really like about it. I use it in a lot of my Italian cooking. Also today I'm in the kitchen making spaghetti squash primavera and we'll be using it in that. It's a great dish, a lot of vegetables. I really enjoy it. So this is one option. Another option is to pick yourself up a spiralizer. That's one of these guys if you've never seen it. So what I have in here is a zucchini. Zucchini is a great option for a spaghetti alternative. It has a great texture when it's in your dish and it's pretty easy to spiral it. So this little contraption is very easy to use. Uh, I'm doing it backwards, so just be prepared for it to be a little more difficult for me, but you just spin this guy. And what you get out of the end of it is a very pasta-like option for making your pastas with. Uh, so this is just a great option. Uh, this one specifically has different blades, so we have uh, a little bit thicker spiral here, and then we also have a ribbon cut, so you could do some different things. For example, uh, I will often cut zucchini to use in my lasagna. It's a great alternative to lasagna noodles. I really like to use, uh, use it for that. So anyway, this is another great option for your pasta. And then today I stopped at the grocery store and I picked up some of my personal favorites. I like to use, and it's fairly new to the market, as far as I know I only recently started seeing it, are these bean pastas. This is an edamame spaghetti. Uh, the ingredients are organic edamame beans, which I don't know about you, but I like products with uh, very low ingredients and that's about as low as it gets. These soften really nicely. Uh, the texture in them is very good. My family, this is what they prefer to eat over some other pasta alternatives. So this is what I like to use. And it comes in a, quite a bit of varieties. It didn't use to, I couldn't find it in the grocery store, but now uh, here's some penne. Uh, this is what I'm really excited about. It's the first time I've seen it at the grocery store. This is an organic green lentil lasagna noodle which I love lasagna, but it's hard to find uh, a good alternative. So this is going to be something I'm definitely going to try in my lasagnas. And then the same company has a brown rice fusilli, which I will also probably try. And this has organic brown rice flour and organic pea protein in it. So another great option. And then you can just see there's plenty of different brands. This one is a seaweed, which I've never seen and I'm going to give it a try. And then this one is a red lentil, tomato, and red bell peppers. Again, this one only has the three ingredients, the lentils, the tomato, and the bell pepper. So this is going to be a good option. I have not yet tried this company. And then I just picked up, these are just some spaghettis. This is an organic chickpea spaghetti. I'll be giving that a try. Again, very low on the ingredients list. We have chickpea flour, brown rice flour, tapioca starch, and pea protein flour in this guy. And then here are a couple different options. This is just a whole wheat spaghetti. And then this is a spinach 
uh, spaghetti. These ones are a little bit more traditional, but they have great flavor. So take a look in your grocery store the next time you're in there and see what kind of alternatives you can find for your spaghetti. I think cutting out some of the highly processed foods that turn to sugar in your body is a great way to go when you're first starting to change out uh, your recipes. Thank you for joining me today on Vegetrends where we make eating your vegetables a whole lot more fun. Again, my name is Mackenzie and today I hope you've enjoyed me sharing, you some, sharing with you some spaghetti alternatives. I hope you'll give it a try the next time you're in the grocery store. If you enjoyed today's content, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. That would be very helpful. I will have plenty more videos coming your way with options for you in the kitchen to get to get to a more whole food plant-based diet.